Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the shell tool to hollow out shapes in Onshape. Uh, so the shell tool can be found up here on the toolbar in Onshape and uh, what it can do is uh, create hollow, hollow shapes by removing faces from a shape. Alright, so we'll work through a couple of examples here. First one I'm going to uh, show you is with a cylinder. We'll make a, a hollow cylinder. Alright, so I'm going to create a new sketch on the top plane, select that, and I'll just create uh, using a center point circle tool, create a circle there on the top plane, and then I'll extrude that up. All right, so if you are wanting to sketch something like, create something like a, a cup or a mug, uh, then you could use this uh, shell tool to hollow it out. All right, so I've extruded this shape now. It's a solid cylinder. All I need to do is go up to the toolbar and use the shell tool, click on that. And now where it says faces to remove, I'm gonna select the top surface and it's taken off the top surface and uh, it's hollowed out this, this cylinder. All right, we can still see the bottom surface is there and I can change the thickness of the, the wall of this shape, the shell thickness, so I can make it five millimeters instead make it a little bit thicker all right and we can actually actually select more than one face to remove so if i did want to completely hollow it out and get rid of that that bottom face there i can just uh orbit around and select that bottom face as well there we go and uh now it's completely hollowed out from top to bottom it's like a, a pipe okay all right, and just one more example. So uh, I'll just uh, delete all of that for now. And this time I'll uh, use a center point rectangle on a sketch So I'm drawing on the top plane. And I'll extrude that too. All right, and same as before, click on the shell tool and just select surfaces that we want to remove. So uh, I could select the front surface here. Uh, and so now it's like a, a box. All right, that's opened on one side, um, but I can go and select other surfaces as well. So I might remove, oops, just uh, make sure that one's still removed. So I can go and select this surface here. Now that's removed and I could uh, orbit around. Oops, just trying to right click here. All around, and now I can select this surface as well. All right. So there we go. So you can hollow out a shape by just selecting one surface, uh, but you can select more than one surface if you like. All right. That's how to use the shell tool to hollow out shapes in on shape. Thanks for watching.